Have y'all heard about Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies? It's kind of freaky to think about this digital currency that's going to replace our money. It'll make this go extinct. It'll make it worthless and gone. That has a lot of serious implications that I don't think the makers of Bitcoin are thinking about. The one I'm most concerned with is how are rappers gonna make it rain in their music videos? You know, make it. I make it rain, I make it rain. That's gonna be totally gone. That is the coolest part about rap videos. So I was thinking, like, you can't, you can't do that with Bitcoin. Like, there's, there's just nothing, and it just look weird if you're trying to do it with Bitcoin and the computers couldn't read that you're like, you're making that money rain. So, but then I, then I actually came up with a solution, because I'm a thinker. While paper money will have no value, there are still going to be things that have intrinsic value real physical things, tangible things that have value, like precious metals, for instance. So you could walk into the club with some precious metals and make it rain, like this. What's up, I'm in the club. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited for today. I'm just gonna say that. I'm a little nervous about today, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I think you guys are gonna like it. So we've shot a lot of metals on this channel to see if they're bulletproof. We've shot steel, of course, like thin steel, thick steel, hard steel, soft steel. We've shot a block of lead, a block of aluminum, a block of magnesium. We shot a block of titanium, which is, that was a cool video. I think this one's gonna be pretty neat too. As you probably know, we have a block of Silver. I got this from InvestorCrate.com. I've always kind of wanted to start collecting silver. And I decided this was the way to do it. So this is pure, pure silver, 100 ounces in this brick. So silver is worth about $17 an ounce right now, which means this brick is worth about $1,700. <coughs> and I'm gonna shoot at it. <laughs> Whew, so. I just want to know if it's bulletproof and what bullets do to it. I'm kind of nervous about it. So I built this little thing here because sometimes like, for instance, when we shot the aluminum, it was pretty brittle. And so like, as it started stretching, if it stretched really fast, it would just break off and throw chunks like 50 yards. So if that, if this thing throws like a 10 ounce chunk, like 50 yards, I'll probably lose it. And that was 170 bucks worth of silver that I just lost in the woods. So I'm hoping with this little box, Anything that flies out will kind of come out this direction. I'll be able to find it, but most of it will stay in here. It may not even break apart. Maybe silver is not very brittle. I know gold is pretty soft and malleable. I don't really know about silver, but you know what? We're going to find out. We're going to do this in classic demolition ranch style. We're going to start from a small caliber and work our way up and see what we can do to this silver. I'm freaking out right now. Doing too long rifle versus silver bar. Here we go. I think it did hardly anything. How cool is that? I tried picking it off with a knife. It worked a little bit, but it shows me that the silver is fairly soft. The lead is really soft, um, and both of them just sort of congealed together. So now we don't have a 100% um, silver block anymore. It's got a little lead contamination in it. Let's put a little more lead contamination. Uh, nine millimeter out of the Maxim Nine. This is supersonic, which is why I'm wearing. Air Pro, see what it does to the silver block. I shot low, it hit right there and just bent the silver a little bit, went into the wood down here and straight out the back. Ow, it's hot. So there's our bullet, went in like that and then just fell out. Looks like it might have a thin layer of silver all over the outside of it now. So this bullet is worth way more than it was before. How about a 45 ACP full metal jacket out of my suppressed CMMG guard? I think, uh, I think this should be kind of cool. What happened? <laughs> this is super cool. So look what it did. It left 
the jacket. So that is just copper jacket stuck into the silver bar and all the lead is gone. Here's pieces of lead right here. Hopefully it's probably silver, see ya. But all the lead's gone. Just copper jacket is sitting in there. How crazy is that? You guys know I love penetration. But in any penetration test, I always want to bring out the FN57 because it shoots this tiny bullet, but super fast. Certain types of these bullets were actually banned because they were all going through body armor out of a pistol, which is pretty crazy. So let's see what it would do if you had some body armor made of silver. It's weird how it doesn't move. Like I'm always kind of like, did I miss it or not? If I did in fact hit this, this one should have gone a lot deeper because it was going faster than the other rounds. We got a hit and really not that much deeper. So there it is. That is actually lead down in there. Looks like, looks like I can see the back of the bullet there. It made a hole the same depth as the 9mm, just a little skinnier. So, if you're shooting at someone wearing silver body armor, just go with the bigger slug, because the 45 definitely has made the most damage so far. So far. Those pistols are real cute, but you know what's better? Every rifle ever. Especially the Demolition Ranch AR-15. This is my competition gun, added a proof research carbon fiber barrel. We're shooting 5.56. 5.56 is going super fast. It's a small diameter bullet. But man, it's moving a lot of power in this round. It's gonna put a hurtin' on that silver for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is the 5.56. That's lead right there buried into the silver. And you can actually see it raised it up a little bit around there. It went down and swelled the metal just a little bit. What's nice about this though is none of the silver is flying off like I feared. 5.56 was good. What if we put a little hopped up 5.56 in there? We got uh, green tips. Green tips are barely legal because they're so good at penetrating things. I like things that are barely legal. No, that that came out weird. I was meaning like the Humvee's barely legal and the kit car is barely legal. Nothing else weirder than that. Alright, uh, I think it's, it's probably going to look about the same but I just kind of want to see if it goes any deeper than the regular bullets did. Whoa, I'm surprised. That hole right there is our green tip hole. And you can see, well you can't see much, it's just a big dark hole. But look at the back. It like just started to come out. You could, if it'll focus, that is a little bit of lead peeking through right there. Crazy. So if you were wearing this block, it would have stopped it. Your skin would be cut. It would have hurt. But you'd still be walking. Impressive. 5.56. Five, 300 Winchester Magnum. That is out of focus. That's a big bullet. It's going real fast. Tons of power. I shot a little practice shot over here. Okay, so I think I should be able to hit it if I aim right about there. Oh yeah, we smoked it. Whew. That's the first one that's actually been obvious that I hit. It actually knocked it over. I, I'm assuming it went through. It had to have gone through. So seeing that, you would say, yeah, it went through. But it didn't. That's a big bulge right there. You guys love when I say bulge, I know. That's a big bulge right there where it was trying to come through but it did not. Crazy. I don't think it's gonna show it. There's a huge cavity down in there. It's really kinda cool looking, but I can't get it to show up on camera, I don't think. Yeah, you can see it there. Real deep, opened up, big cave down in that hole. I thought that was gonna be it. I thought that one was gonna pass clean through. It looks like we're gonna have to break out the 50. I know you guys didn't want me to get the 50 cal out, but I gotta do it, sorry. Before we go 50 cal, I wanna thank our channel sponsor, Audible. Audible is a company I've talked to you about before because they are a company that provides a service that I believe is a really good service. It's one I use personally, it's one I think that everybody should use. They basically have an unmatched audiobook library on the internet. You can get it on your phone, you can get it on your tablet. It's nice, they read books to you. And they have so many books. So currently, um, I'm, I'm gonna show, I've done, never done this before with a hard copy. Look, I have a hard copy of this book by Tim Grover called Relentless. 
uh, what you'll notice is it's not wrinkled up at all. I mean, it's not hard. It's not a hard cover. You know, it's soft cover, but it's not wrinkled. That's because I haven't even opened it. Um, I bought this book um, based on a podcast I was listening to a while back, um, and it sounded like something that was really interesting. So I, I ordered it a few weeks back, and uh, it just sat forever. This last month, it's it was it's you know Christmas time and all that stuff. It's been super busy. I have not had time to sit down and read, and so the book has just sat there uh, until I was like why don't I just get this on Audible? And so I download on Audible, I've been listening to it in my truck when I travel on my phone. This book, he is relating his experiences with athletics into business, being successful in business, being successful in life in general. And it's it's pretty interesting, um, a lot of good points, and he is a very knowledgeable person on this. So um, I highly recommend the book, and I highly recommend you use the link in the description. It's audible.com slash demo ranch. It goes to support what we do here, and you get to get a free audiobook. You can get this one, and a 30-day trial with uh, Audible, or you can get any other book. Or you can do it from your phone now. You can actually just text demo ranch to 500, 500 and they will send you a link to get your free 30-day trial. So check it out in the description below. Let's go blow up some silver with a little 50. That's eh, a Barrett, eh, yeah, just, just a little Barrett. So, so far nothing has actually made it like all the way through. Like that, the green tip peaked a little bit, but nothing so far, but this thing, yeah. 50 BMG is gonna go clean through the silver. It has to, has to, 100%. It's not even a guess, it's going through, All right? Here we go. <laughs> Survey set. Oh, jeez. Oh, the whole plate's hot. There you go. Straight through. The, oh my god. So this is the side I hit actually first. This was the front of it. So it went in here and those bullets have the jacket around it. And so it looks like the jacket all kind of wedged here, but that central core just kept on going. Blasted a hole straight through. And then of course straight out the back here. Huh. What is that? Oh, that looks like a piece of silver right there. Yeah, I probably should keep that. A little chunk of silver. That's worth like four dollars. It definitely looks like we're missing some silver from here though. Whoa, the plate's warped! Can you guys see this? It was not like that before, but now the plate is, has been bent. That balloon went straight in there and bent it crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have an online auction. For this, uh, it's uh, about, a, about a 95 ounce now silver. Bar, it's not pure silver, it's got a little lead and copper, so some, some bonus metals thrown in there for you. You're welcome. This, uh, yeah, should should bring about $3. <laughs> oh man, I bet I messed that up, right? Like, is this worth anything? Nah, we're just gonna put this in the Demolition Ranch Museum someday. Someday we'll have a Demolition Ranch Museum with everything we've ever shot. We'll just put it up there. People walk through and be like, that was 50 BMG. I remember that episode. Demolition Ranch, the museum. Someday. Someday. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and give it a share. Thanks for watching Demolition Red. I love you. See you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> We're about to quad hop. Bobby?